So you guys are watching this, but right now, I'm actually in the UP. So yeah, um, I'm actually not home here at the back wall. I'm actually up north uh, in the UP with some family while you guys are watching this. So, But we got a, another day, another how-to video. We're going to be talking about the Six Sense Fishing Divine Swim Bait jig heads and the new bongo from Six Sense Fishing, which is, I'm excited for this bait. It looks incredible. So yes, we have the jig head to talk about, but mostly I'm going to be talking about how to use this little feature right here. That screw lock that Six Sense Fishing has on some of their swim jigs, or well, all of their swim jigs, but not all of their jigs. Some people think the screw lock is amazing, like me. I think it's absolutely incredible, and then some people absolutely hate it and they can't figure it out, they don't like it, and they tear up baits because of it. Which the screw lock is supposed to help you not tear up baits. It's supposed to help the fish not tear up your baits. So you can use less soft plastics. That's why the screw lock is so amazing. And honestly, it just takes a little bit more time and you're gonna save quite a bit of money on soft plastics. So here's the new Bongo. It's a cross style bait with these huge claws that move a ton of water. Um, I was using, fishing this not long ago on my kayak and this looks incredible on the water. Um, the action is crazy. I put it on the back of a chatter bait, back of a jig, whatever. This, this bait is really, really cool. I've been waiting for something like this for a long time. I was very happy. Well, let's get to how to use this screw lock. All right, so just like the last how-to video, I'm gonna take that nose of that bait, I'm gonna drive this hook through, and you're gonna keep going. You're not gonna pop it out right away, see? We're about right there. And then we're gonna start popping it out. And again, you can line this hook up to where it would probably pop out. Let me show you that real quick. We we'll, might as well do it. So if you were to take this and then measure where this hook would pop out. So about where I had it. So that hook been near the end of the bait there. You don't want to pop that hook out. So we're going to thread that on. We're going to pop that hook out. And now we've reached the screw lock. All you're simply going to do is start screwing. That's how easy this is. You just got to keep screwing this bait. And sometimes the claws or something, or if you got a, something like a paddle tail will get caught on this hook, it's not a big deal. You're not going to hurt your bait. Just pop it back under the hook like that and keep twisting. And again, see it got stuck a little bit there. So we're just gonna pop that underneath the hook. Keep twisting. And then, there, we're done. We're done with it. Give it a little push towards the head and there you go. Hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more videos like this, more fishing videos, more adventures. And then, you know, leave a comment. Tell me what you liked and what you didn't like. And don't forget to fish till you drop.